Alright, back with more Mega Man Maker. Uh, today we'll be playing through Proto Mountain, created by Slopeman. 17th place and a score of negative 2. Yeah, double damage has been enabled and Proto Strike has been disabled. We have the Mega Man 1. <laughs> uh, what's his <laughs> face? Um, Mega Man 1. Uh... Dang, why can't I not remember his name? Uh, Freaking. Construction work you do. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, what a point. Yeah, I'll have to try and be a little bit careful with how I tackle these guys. Double damage really allows for some <laughs> dangerous enemy encounters. No! Wow! Oh. <laughs> wow, oh yeah. Mm, so we will just. Dang it! Man, I'm just sucking! This is not that hard. <laughs> get that, and man, I'm jumping too early. Okay. Okay, let's just let go of that. What? No! Oh, come on now, dude! <laughs> Seriously? Am I actually going to have to cut out me trying to make this young? <laughs> hmm. Oh, yes. Um. Oh, no, I screwed up. Okay, well. Go. Oh, yes, okay. I mean, the stage is not easy, but. Oh, wow, okay, man, 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 I need to concentrate. The stage is not easy, but I wouldn't say it's all that hard either, despite, you know double damage being active because, you know, all the enemies that are on screen are, you know, low damage enemies to begin with, like, you know, all enemies here, like, only deal two damage uh, regularly, or, you know, if you're classic Mega Man, um, so, yeah, I don't really think these guys are all that dangerous, um, you know, we just have these low damaging robots, so, you know, taking a few hits, you know, and you will end up dead, but, yeah. As long as you just keep your wits about, you should be fine, honestly. <laughs> okay, for some reason, I cannot get my... Oh, wow, I cannot get my spring on those things. Oh, no! Oh, shoot! Mistakes were made. Oh, no, please! Plus! Oh, show joy! Man, that was dangerous. Oh yeah, now it's looking a lot more dire all of a sudden. Oh my goodness, he sniped me! Wow! Man! <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Dang it, okay. Now I'm just playing reckless. <laughs> if you can just avoid taking damage from this guy at least, that would be nice. Here, let's just do that. Yeah, if we just allow it to pass us, we have more time to get up that ladder. Almost slid right down. Okay, now. to focus. Dang it, and I get shot in the foot. Oh, 
There we go. Nay! Oh man, I took damage. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. There he is. No, 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 no. Okay, man. You really have to pay attention. You really have to pay attention. And I'm not paying attention. Dang it. <laughs> okay, you know what? This stage actually got harder towards the end. Um, you really have to pay attention to what you're doing. You cannot just... Uh, yeah. You cannot slack off. You gotta... Ooh. You gotta do it to it. But yeah, I'll... Well... Well, actually, let's not cut back. It's not necessary. Let's just... There we go. Thankfully, we don't have to backtrack all that far. It's just a few screens to get back. I probably don't need to kill this guy every time. And oh my goodness, what am I doing? Die! Die! For the love of God, die! Okay, this is not too good, you know, health-wise, but I think we still can do it. Nah! Oh man, okay. Dang it, I tried to jump and shield that, but I was too late on the bottom press. Oh wow, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What the bomb blast! <laughs> wow. Man, okay, you know what? Cutting back. Alright, we are back. Back again. Let's try and do better now. Yeah, it definitely. Oh man, I cannot take those kind of hits. Um, it definitely does ramp up quite a bit in difficulty here. I wouldn't say... Dang it. I still wouldn't say it's all that difficult. Um, I guess I also could blame the fact a little bit that I'm talking while playing that it is affecting my playstyle here a little bit, but... Oh yeah, nice. They stop just ahead of you and nice block there. Man, would I have died 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? No, okay, I wouldn't have died if I had touched that bomb blast, but I would have been like one or two pallets away from that. <laughs> A good old ring man. That's the boss. Hmm, nice. We have actually some health here. Oh, you can't hurt him with the buster, okay. Can you hurt him with the... <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to deflect. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I was trying to concentrate here a little bit. Dang it, I cannot... <laughs> oh man, I got own. Uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting, but I cannot... Um, I just... I just failed to... Position him where I wanted him to be there. There we go. Thankfully, he takes two damage from his own weapon here, so... That's very nice. But yeah, I feel like once I get in a nice rhythm here... Oh wow, I thought he would actually touch me! Oh no, don't stand there, for the love of god. Okay. What? Dang it, I tried jumping there. Nice. Nice. Dang it! Oh man, why did I have to go there? I just wanted to... Oh, get below him. <laughs> 
Man. Guess I wanted to get below him. Or, uh, you know, under him and walk around to the other side. But yeah, I should probably just play it safe and... Yeah. Should have just played it safe. What? <laughs> nice. Man, I was so very afraid that the boomerang would hit me on the way back there. <laughs> okay. We're still nowhere near safe though. That's for damn sure. Let's just trick him over there and now we jump. Nope. Dang, I so badly tried to shield that thing! Oh, wow! Man, okay, this is going to take some time. It is interesting, though. I like harder boss rooms, um, but you really have to strategize. And it is nice that we have those big energy pads down there, but it is definitely possible to do this without them. You just have to not suck. And, you know, be on your toes. Nice. Dang it! What the heck? Ooh, nice. Got very lucky there that the <laughs> platform reformed just as he was about to uh, come on to me there. Dang it, and that was not necessary. Why did I do that? Ooh, close one. Dang it! Ah, I landed right on him. Shoot, man. Shoot, man. <laughs> I don't think I will be cutting any of this out. Like, I mean, it is a hard boss fight, so... You know, dying is to be expected. To be fair, I always start out pretty well, and then I do stupid crap like that. Like, even if I had deflected that ring, like, I wouldn't have gotten any damage out of it, I feel like. It would just have missed him either way. Jump, okay. Yeah, you also have to be very careful on the rebound of those rings. <laughs> man, oh man. Yeah, see, like, it goes south. Because I start playing sloppy. No, oh, don't go up there. There we go. I am still dead in two hits and dead in one if he just managed to, uh, managed to run into me. But yeah, the same goes for him. Two hits. Jump. Dang it! I could only take one? And on one health to Oh man. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Nice. Nice. Okay, don't be stupid now, just take it calm. There we go. Move down. Get up so you don't get hit on the rebound. And yeah, just fall down there. Uh, better take a hit from the green laser than running into the arms of Ringman. That's... Nice. And no, 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 get out of there. Oh wow, that was scary. Holy moly. Yeah, he's freaking scary with double damage. <laughs> so freaking scary. So scary, and I'm still not safe, even though, even though it may seem like it, I am nowhere near safe. Okay, let's just nice. Yeah, and it's also it's also a good thing to just wait for the bridges here to extend, and now we go. And you know, not jump up until then too early, you know, just so that you have so you don't put it on the cooldown so that yeah you can't hit him when, when it really counts. But yeah, a really cool boss fight. That was probably my favorite part of the stage. I really like, you know, this kind of um uh, hard ass boss rooms where you cannot um where, well where you basically have to uh, position yourself. I mean obviously 
<laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Obviously this stage has kind of quite poor uh, ratings here, but that is, I feel like, mainly due to the difficulty. Um, like, as I said over on the forums in my post, like, a lot of people just doesn't like horror type levels, and so that's why I'm creating easier myself, uh, even though I like playing horror levels myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, except Kaizo style levels, but you know, these types of level levels where you have to, you know, survive, you know, where it's basically about surviving, you know, from monsters and not surviving from spikes, I guess you could say, you know. I like levels where you have to conserve your energy or health and, you know, yeah, basically you have to play well or else the enemies will take you out. I, I, I just, I'm just not a big fan of Kaizo levels, you know, where you die in one shot from a spike. That is not my type of hard difficulty, but uh, I really like this level. I mean, the visions were a little bit, they were a little bit um, on the basic side. Um, but with that said, I still felt like uh, the whole enemy and uh, layout aspect of the stage was quite good. Uh, it was really fun to jump around and survive uh, the enemies, and especially that one last part with the Mega Man 1 enemies that came flying in, uh, shooting at you, you know, that was really tricky, but it was fun to pull off, and it's a shame that I could not do a better job of it, but yeah. <laughs> it was a very nice stage all around, a fun stage to to survive, basically. Uh, yeah, really nice job there, Slope Man. But yeah, we will just leave it at that, so thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.